The, um, uh, well, my journey uh, to singing in Siena actually started about four years ago uh, when I uh, was going to come uh, to singing in Siena and then um, had uh, paid my deposit and then uh, unfortunately I couldn't get the time off work. And so it's been, uh, it's been four years in the waiting. So, um, um, and uh, in the last few months, a lot of planning because um, not only did um, uh, does singing in Siena form part of my, my journey, um, I have um, um, many other places that I'm visiting, including Calabria, um, Rome and, um, and Venice. Um, but um, I, I arrived in uh, Siena uh, about, uh, was, was um, on a Friday, Friday the uh, 2nd of uh, September, and then on the Saturday morning we were picked up at, um, at um, Gramsci in uh, Siena after um, spending a night in, uh, in the most incredible place that I'd been to. Um, Siena is, is stunning. Um, words can't express how beautiful the place is. And then um, the, the people, the place, and, um, and so I, I knew this was a very special part of the world. And so it was great anticipation um, when, um, when waiting um, for the, uh, the group to uh, to leave Siena to come to um, Fattoria Montestigliano and um, I, the journey here was um, I could see all the farms and uh, and sort of thinking wow this is so beautiful and uh, and arriving here on the mountaintop and seeing the view it was um, to say the least um, stunning and it was and again it was sort of like a dream it's sort of like is this real um, you know, every day I look out the window and I see a picture and it's the most beautiful picture. Um, and every day I take photos from a particular window, uh, different times of the day, because the view, even though it's the same view, it is different and it's, and it's even more stunning every time I look at it. Um, so my time here at, uh, at uh, Montestigliano has been, has been extraordinary. Uh, lots of singing, um, lots of um, walking around and exploring. Um, both the uh, the farm itself and um, my uh, little escapades to uh, the villages around the area to um, shop and to have uh, coffee and cake and uh, um, has been uh, remarkable. But um, I've also been fortunate to um, uh, been able to assist with the cooking here at uh, Montestigliano and um, um, uh, share um, the the kitchen with the wonderful chef um, Anna. Who uh, has taught me quite a lot, and um, the food, to say the least, is um, um, I'm, I can't find the words to express the um, the amazing food that we have uh, been um, blessed to eat here at um, at uh, Montestigliano. I um, and and to be fortunate to be able to assist in cooking and and to see and to learn because. Um, it's, it's not just a bowl of pasta. This is, uh, eating, eating in an Italian culture is an event and uh, it's a joyous event. And, and, and food is about celebrating life and uh, Italians certainly know how to do it. And when you're here in the country, it is um, uh, the most remarkable event. And um, we sit outside in the piazza here at Montestigliano to have our meal in the most stunning environment a beautiful atmosphere just at sunset and um, we enjoy our food and 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 wine and uh, and uh, the um, obligatory uh, limoncello at the end of, uh, of dinner but um, I've been very fortunate to be able to assist with uh, with cooking and um, and and last night we had the most remarkable ossobuco and uh, risotto which um, um, uh, it, my, my mother made meals um, quite like that and um, and just to see uh, Anna at work in the in the kitchen was uh, was such a joy and um, it's um, food singing and a remarkably beautiful environment makes this week um, uh, in singing Siena, Siena the most amazing experience for anybody